Trailer accident causes gridlock along Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Workers fake debt to get pension benefits. Tinubu, Wiki, others meet in UK. Recovered Abacha loot hits $334.7 million. US condemns corruption. Court nullifies ratification of NBA secretary's suspension. Super Falconets sleep at Turkish airport. Good day and welcome to the podium news. My name is Confidence Silver. A trailer heading to Ogun State has been involved in a road accident which caused heavy traffic for commuters along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway on Tuesday. Podium gathered that the trailer driver lost control and ran into the barricade, almost falling off the Kara Bridge. Efforts are being made to improve traffic situations. The National Pension Commission has vowed to go tough on relatives, workers and retirees who fake debt of contributors to the contributory pension scheme in order to get the benefits entitled to the deceased persons. The pension industry regulator decided on this move due to the growing incidence of fake debts being organized to get out the balance in the retirement savings accounts of reported dead workers. Wow. There are strong indications that the APC presidential candidate Bola Tinubu is intensifying efforts to get the support of the River State's governor Yes, some wiki for the 2023 presidential pool. Contrary to some online reports that the duo met in France on Tuesday, multiple sources confirmed that Tinubu and Wiki met in London on Monday as part of moves to work together ahead of the election. It was gathered that some of the APC and PDP governors also attended the crucial meeting. The amount of money stolen by late General Sani Abacha and his cronies, which have been reported to Nigeria by the United States, has hit over $334.7 million. The U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Leonard, said on Tuesday. According to her, the U.S. government had been keenly aware of the devastating impact of corruption on societies, including eroding trust and the ability of government to deliver to the citizens. Leonard expressed these views during the signing of an agreement with the federal government for the repatriation of $23 million, being assets looted by Abacha and his cronies. The ratification of suspension of Barrister Joyce Odwa as the Secretary General of the Nigerian Bar Association has been nullified by a federal high court in Abuja. The ratification effected by the National Executive Council of the MBA was on Tuesday void and set aside by the court on ground that the action was an affront to the rule of law and violation of the court's proceedings in the matter. Nigerian super falconets have been pictured sleeping on chairs and floors of the airports in Istanbul, Turkey on their way back home. The team was knocked out of the quarterfinals of the 2022 Under-20 Women's World Cup by Netherlands on Sunday. The Super Falcons former media officer Colin Udo, who shared the photos on his social media pages, said Nigerians Falconets have been traveling from Costa Rica since 6.30 a.m. on Monday. Thank you for staying tuned. My name is Confidence Silva. Subscribe to our YouTube channel Podium International TV for more information. Till next time, remain blessed.